Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tim Shaves and today I'm going to go for another shave today on a relaxing Sunday. Uh, got one day of growth, had an awesome shave yesterday with the Mike's Natural Line Soap and using the CJB Commissory Shavette. So I wanted to mix it up a bit today by using the single edge, but I have really had an enjoyable shave with the Shavette yesterday, so I just wanted to Replicate it, repeat it again. So, going with that, I hope you guys are having a relaxing weekend and yeah, having some great shaves if you're shaving. And I also want to feature a new soap to my den, and that is gonna be Noble Otter Bear. Um, this is probably not a popular scent because <laughs> it's unscented, but um, I've really enjoyed using some un unscented soaps because um, my skin, they react to some fragrances and I don't think um, using so many fragrances is healthy for my skin. So I'm gonna alternate it by using stuff like this, unscented soaps and going back to fragrance, fragranced soaps and back and forth just so that I don't know, give my skin a break sometimes. But man, the label's really, really nice. Yeah, I think, um, they have a really nice label, even the side label. It's a um, very nice soap. Very uh, clean pour as well. It's a bit of a harder soap, more than sterling texture, but um, whips up nicely. I could scoop it out, scoop it out easily. And yeah, I'm excited to try this out today. So let me wet my face and get it going on. All right, for the brush today, I'm gonna to be using the Yaki Silver Tip um, Badger, 24 millimeter. Got it already loaded and ready to lather. So here we go. Let's see how this soap works. <clears throat> okay, starting off slightly airy. It's okay. I'm gonna add a bit more water here just to push the hydration. All right, that should be good. Plenty on the brush. <clears throat> and this is a unscented soap, but I could smell a little bit of the ingredient. Nothing crazy animalic, but just a bit of the tallow, I think. And that's usually the case with most unscented soaps. Just smell a bit of the ingredient. It's a little <laughs> weird that they're going on, but that's it. Yeah, not bad. Um, I think this is right about where I want it for hydration. Um, using a synthetic brush would have been slightly easier, but it's fine. I'm really enjoying the feel of this badger as well. Soft, it's got some scrub, uh, I think low to mid scrub and a nice bit of backbone. Yeah, a medium backbone for me. So let's, uh, Let's get on shaving with the CJB Kanesari Shave It with a feather 
Artist Club Pro Blade on its fourth use. Here we go with the grain. And I'm uh, developing some kind of a pattern for my commissory shaving, and I'm gonna try it out today. It worked out well yesterday, so let's see how it goes. First pass through. Very nice. Hmm. Not bad. <clears throat> the lather is rinsing off pretty easily. So not too dry. Then I could add a bit more water here, but not necessary. Okay, not bad. The soap is, feels very slick. Feels nice on the skin. I did catch a CD, one of the CDB's videos, uh, him reviewing the Northern Elixir, the Noble Otter. I kind of wanted to get that too, but uh, I think it ran out of stock. Right, not bad. Not bad at all. I think the hydration was pretty good this time around. Oh, we might have got a small nick right here. Let me rinse up and go for that second pass. Yeah, plenty of residual slickness. Wow, that's actually pretty impressive. A lot of slickness left here. Let's go into that second pass. Plenty of lather left in the brush. Okay, a bit of a thinner layer, that's okay, still plenty left there. And what I learned um, working with the Mike's Natural Lime Soap is that <clears throat> some, some soaps, uh, they don't require a lot of water. Uh, I found out with that soap, um, I just need to not, not add so much water. And it became thicker for me for some reason. All right, let's go for that second pass across the green. I think for this soap, it does require my usual amount of water.
for this pass, I've kind of I've, uh, realized how to make it easier. It's by uh, kind of uh, pulling in my neck inwards, and it kind of uh, makes a flat surface. So razor to glide. Yeah, and that's what I do with my D as well, but I just uh, forgot to do that with the shave it. It applies for the the other side as well. Very nice. The shape and shades are becoming easier, but it only takes a one careless mistake to cut yourself, so still gotta be careful. Yeah, it's a lot easier on the neck pass. Let's go to the mustache. Alright, and now down the chin. Yeah, I already see a weeper. Not a weeper, a nick. Uh, what do I do with this here? Alright, I'm gonna go this way, across the green. light touch. I think I could have used a bit more water there. It's okay. And let me go on the neck against the grain. All right, not bad. Now, after here, let me rinse off. I'm gonna do a quick across the grain pass on my chin, just in the chin. Oh, that might be a little too much lather. That's okay though. All right, I'm gonna go this way across the grain. Oh, what is that? It's a hair shed. It's okay though. Yeah, if you guys can hear, I do have some hair. That gets cut during this cross the green pass. Okay, I'm just gonna do that. And now I'm gonna do it against the grain pass on my chin and the neck. And I think that takes care of most of the hair for me. Close to a BBS, not quite there, but still to a state that I'm uncomfortable with without 
much irritation. I might get a couple of nicks here and there, but they usually stop and are not weepers. So let's go with that. <clears throat> and do an against the grain pass. Start from the neck first. Just clear this up. Let me get this side. Okay, and now from the from the the bottom of my chin, I'm just gonna go up against the grain. That should clear up most of the hairs. All right. I'm just gonna clear off the leather a bit here, just to skin stretch. Make it easier. Yeah, this is a tricky pass, but I feel like I need this in order to get some of the hair on my chin. Huh. Kind of hard to stretch here. Good. Bit of residual slickness. Okay. bit more on the right side. Oof, this can get kind of a uh, nerve-wracking. <laughs> Needs a lot of control on the hands, but And that'll do it. Wow. Another decent shape. No real nicks, I would say. Let me rinse up. Did take a bit longer than the usual, but that's okay. I got a pretty clean shave that I am content with. Yeah, not quite BBS, but I would say that's a socially acceptable shave. Pretty clean, comfortable, no real stings anywhere, 
still a good amount of residual slickness left. Man, this Oval Noble Otter Soap is performs really, really well. Definitely on Sterling's level. Um, maybe a bit better. Because I compare a lot of soaps to Sterling, because that's the soap that I use the most. And if it compares similar to it, or even better, I'm happy with it. Um, so yeah, no real nix. Just a nice shave. I do have some couple bumps here and there, but I think post shave will take care of that. So awesome shave with the CJB today. Also used the Noble Otter Bear for the first time. As you saw, well performing soap, plenty of slickness. Um, yeah, I don't think you'll be um, disappointed with it. I've enjoyed it a lot. I'll be using it more often. But that said, thank you guys for watching. This is Tim Shaves, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.